No man is an island boy. I'm an island boy. Hey, man, I can't see a damn thing. All right, it's Thursday morning. I just got done filming a video for Joe Does Stuff, ironically enough, from the shed in front of the green screen about whether or not I'm a bad boss. Am I a horrible person? Well, I'm sure that's up for debate, uh, but we won't talk about that here. That's probably a video you guys have already seen, actually. Shit, well, we can talk about that. I know there's a lot of people who think that I am, but I, I really, I, I try not to be, okay? That's not like what I wake up every morning thinking, God, today, how can I be an even worse person? Certain situations just get you hot, especially when everything's on the line, and there's all that. All right, Thursday morning, what's going on, everybody? Boy, hey, though, we almost through this week. Week three, flip three, month three. Are we gonna reach the finish line in time? God, I hope so, right? So yesterday was a bit discouraging in terms of what got accomplished. I feel like not enough did. We got those final two windows put in that had to be put in from the outside, which was a bitch, right? That was a bitch. That took all day. I was hopeful that wouldn't take all day, but it did. And outside of that, we really didn't get a whole lot done. I worked in that bathroom and we got another dumpster delivered. So. Not very productive in my opinion. And then by the end of the day, when it's time to pay guys, you're really gonna realize, damn, what did we get done? But today's another day, a new day, if you will. And of course, I'm starting this day off bright and early, seven something in the morning on my way to Lowe's because Joe made a mistake. That's right. Not always will I get it right. How many times have I said that? Uh, I got the wrong uh, dimensions of hardy board. I got the wrong thickness. For whatever reason, I got freaking quarter inch. And I wasn't even thinking about it when I grabbed it. But you can't use quarter inch hardy board for a, a shower wall that you're gonna tile. It's way too thin. So I gotta go get the half inch. I need four sheets of that. Uh, with that quarter inch that I got, I'm not gonna return it. I'm gonna end up using that for the floor instead of the, the Schluter's d truck. That'll actually work better than the, the Schluter's d truck. So we'll have that. And today, man, I got a whole bunch of getting, you know, I guess finishing work, not really finishing work, but tightening up work that I want to get done. A lot of sanding, a lot of mudding, a lot of painting, potentially. Let's really get this downstairs out of the fucking way so we can really focus on what's upstairs. And there's really not a lot that's upstairs. Now that this bathroom is damn near done, hey, we're... We're pretty far along, pretty far along. So anyways, let me focus on the road. I'm almost at the Lowe's and get the materials that I need. It's crazy how many trips I've made to Lowe's. I'll do a, a budget reaction by the end of this and share with you how much money I actually spent at Lowe's during this particular flip. If you had to take a guess, what would you say? 10,000, 15, 20 maybe? I'd say probably close to 20 for sure. $20,000 at Lowe's. And they never even acknowledged me like, hey man, we're not gonna sponsor you or nothing, but thanks for using us. Thanks for shouting us out every single day. Whatever. All right, let's get there, get what we need, and move on. Hey, guess where I'm leaving from? You guessed it, Lowe's. Uh, for the second time today, got two pieces of drywall and uh what are we doing folks what are we doing folks is anybody gonna go nobody wants to go everybody just wants to sit here and look crazy crazy in the face you got no idea what you're doing oh man four-way stops you gotta love them so leaving from Lowe's for the second time today had to get a two uh I really just needed a piece of drywall it was easier for me to just get two um I don't even need a whole sheet but hey we'll have some extra right um I like to collect building materials I got a two by four as well, but really it's just the drywall that I need so I can finish up the bathroom. Joe, how much damn drywall do you need in that bathroom? Not a lot. We just didn't have a lot. So that's going to be done. Uh, we're getting ready to mud, mud 30, boy. We're going mud crazy. We're going to do so much mud and we're going to be ready for paint. Man, we're going to be ready for some paint. That's going to be nice. Where the hell did you go? You just ran straight across a red light. That's insane. 
So what I can report for you guys is, uh, what time is it? It's like 9.30 in the morning on Thursday and today is way better, way better than yesterday was. I'm just, I'm feeling it, my guys are feeling it. They're doing great. We got that downstairs bathroom grouted. That thing looks fantastic. So yeah, definitely happy with the production that's being made today and think that by the end of today, oh man, you guys are gonna be impressed when you see, hopefully, what I'm gonna show you. So let's go. Oh shit, I should've got some tile. We need some tile for that backsplash on that tub surround. Oh well, that'll just be another trip to Lowe's. I might, I might phone sale that money or order it online. Let's get back and get some work done. All righty then. God, I got dust in my eyeballs. Oh. All right, it's the end of the day. It's 4 p.m. And it was a really, really good day. I gotta say, special shout out to the team, Damon, Matt, both them guys held shit down. So, a lot that I'm getting ready to show you. Some looks really good, some's got a long ways to go, but regardless, you're about to see some work. So, where should we begin at? I guess we'll begin down here uh, in the sitting room. So this was one of the final things that we worked on today, and that is bang the mantle which still looks crooked. Son of a gun. Hey man, it is what it is at this point. Gosh almighty, that thing still looks crooked. Uh, I had Matt put another piece of drywall on here and you can see we even built this son of a gun out. Um, and it's level, I mean, it, it's the, the level is, the level is the tail, the tail of the tape right there. I mean, she's dead center in the, hey man. This is just a house of mirrors right here. Everything's an optical illusion. Uh, so, I had, so at first I was putting a shit ton of mud on that side, trying to like build it out with mud. But then it came to me, I was like, man, why don't we just take another piece of drywall? I was gonna tear this out as well. Let's take another piece of drywall, put it on top of that, build it out the right way. It needs to go up that way. It needs to go out that way. So that's what we did. Tomorrow we're gonna have the mantelpiece built and done uh, minus the mud, uh, the tile work down here, uh, that's gonna be coming soon. Wait till you see that. Whoo, that's gonna be real nice. Speaking of tile work, how about we go look at that bathroom and let me show you what that joint looks like with a little grout up in it. <sighs> yeah, looks a hell of a lot better. So you can see that tile is low. You might not be able to notice that, but that tile is low. I can tell by the way that the grout is kind of coming over, but no big deal. Just a little bit right there, but at least you're not stubbing your toe walking up in here, and that looks sharp. So this is a light gray grout, which kind of matches the, you know, the gray and the tiles. Um, it still needs to be wiped down one more time for sure. And uh, yeah, it was a lot darker earlier today. It looked really good. We got a super dark grout that we're gonna be using for the tile tub surround upstairs so man doesn't that look nice right yeah man really happy with the way that that came out all right let's go upstairs because upstairs is where the real magic's at i know y'all ready to see that bathroom upstairs and trust me when i tell you boy a lot better let's just put it that way it's a hell of a lot better so we did so much work upstairs today we damn near mudded almost the entire upstairs today. Um, I finished up the bathroom, getting ready to show you that, and we mudded the Benghazi out of this upstairs. So here's one room, this was a child's room. There was a lot of thumbtack holes in these walls, as you can tell by all that skimming right there. So we did this room. Let's go up to the school shooter room real quick. Uh, this joint right here. Yeah, man, patched a lot of holes, a lot of punch in the walls. I hate my, I hate my parents type shit going on up here. I got that right. It almost looks like a little Bob Ross painting. Some happy clouds, if you will. Did that. Uh, I don't think we got any skimming done in this room just yet. Nope, nothing done in this room. Uh, oh, I gotta show you real quick. I gotta show you the water heater room. Boy, oh, that joint look good, 
Brando! Yeah, man. Water heater room back in action. So good deal there. All right. Are you ready to see the upstairs bathroom? Now, mind you, we still got a long way to go. We ain't there just yet. But folks, we're close. Let's go. Drum roll, please. Violin track, maybe it's something. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah, man. Boom, upstairs bathroom. All right, so what do we got? Folks, what you don't realize is this bathroom was inspired by prison. That's right, folks. I built the little prison knee wall right there. Only privacy you're gonna get right there. Hey, back toilet. Hey, who got next? There you go right there. So you're probably wondering, Joe, what the fuck is that? Why you got a little dumbass knee wall right there? Well, for a lot of reasons, actually, uh, because with this nice sterling tub, both sides are exposed. So you needed to cap that off some kind of a way. So boom, that's how we did it right there. Now, while you're sitting here taking a shit, you can put your phone right here. Uh, yeah, man, you could you, you could have the laptop right here. You could be handling emails in the morning time. Yo, a lot of potential with that right there. Also, let's say you got a long day at work. You come home, you've been reading all sorts of nasty YouTube comments about how horrible of a boss you are, and you just want to take a bubble bath. Well, you can put the pillow right up there. You can lay out in this money. You know what I mean? Yeah, put a pillow up there. So, uh, this literally kind of was inspired by prison, but it was all we could do. If we built a total wall right here, a little partition wall, well then, you know, you would be kind of kind of uh, closed off in your toilet, right? You'd feel like a little claustrophobic, if you will. Now you might be thinking, Joe, that's not a lot of room for a toilet. Well, guess what? It's what you got, right? Because we ain't changing nothing. That's it, we're not changing nothing. That's how it was. There was speculation about putting that toilet over there, but hey, I ain't doing all that. Hey, boy, that's a lot of bu bureaucracy involved in that. No, we ain't fucking with that. We're gonna leave that right there where it's at. Right there where it's at, right? Yeah, man. So by the time this is done, it'll be capped off with a nice piece of finished wood. It's gonna look nice with our trim around, our nice tile up here, our tile uh, tub surround right here with our bullnose tile coming right down to the floor. And then right here, bullnose tile coming right down to the floor. That's only a piece and a, and a half right there of tile. Not sure how that's actually gonna work out in relation to all of this. Well, we have to start this off with a half piece of tile to make that match up. God only knows. God only knows, right? Um, yeah, haven't thought that far ahead just yet. So anyways, uh, Joe, where's the, the, where's the curtain rod gonna go? We're well, gonna have your curtain rod that's gonna go from right here, bang, it's gonna be an L joint to right there. Okay, this plays no part in your curtain, your shower curtain situation. So yeah. Uh, Joe didn't do too bad with the mud work. I uh, tried to do minimal mud. Uh, that's where your HVAC vent is at. I just cut a little hole right there so we wouldn't forget. Uh, there was a tear in the sheetrock right there. That's why that looks like that. But yeah, man, we mudded all I mudded all afternoon, man. And uh, what y'all think of this bathroom, though? This joint is sharp. We got the painted black uh, fixture right there. I forgot to paint that one black, so I'm going to have to do that uh, post-install right there. And then we got the black hardware right there with a nice, a super nice faucet set. So nice, in fact, I've never seen this before. Damn it. Oh man, where are they? Ah, damn it. You ain't gonna believe, you won't even believe me if, unless I showed you. But I know I ain't got them no more. 
Oh, I do. Yo, the faucet set is so nice. There it is right there, right? This joint actually came with fucking gloves, white cloth driving gloves to install that joint so you don't be leaving your dirty, grimy ass fingerprints all over the hardware. Ain't that, ah, oh, gosh, somebody who put that right there. Ain't that fancy though? Put the gloves right there, the little Fifi action. Maybe put it right here next to that prison banister. Oh yeah. Joe, you nice with it though. You nice with it though. Oh, you nice with it though. I know. I know. I am. I'm very proud of how this came out. So that's that. Um, yeah, man. Productive day. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. What are we gonna be, where will we be at by tomorrow? Well, I can tell you this. We've looked, well, my wife is picking out carpet. So by the end of next week, probably, we'll be getting carpet put up in here. But by the end of tomorrow, uh, the game plan is to be primer painting downstairs and maybe even doing some wall paint downstairs as well. Uh, having skim coat done on the entire upstairs, floor work done where floor work is needed. Uh, there's some floor work definitely needed right here when you walk through here. We gotta add an inch right there. That's how fucking jacked up this is right here, but no big deal. Put a piece of OSB down right there, some floor patch, and we're in there. We, we use the Schluter's uh, Detra downstairs on that bathroom. Well, this time upstairs, we're gonna use, uh, what is this, the Hardy Board or whatever, the Dura Rock? Yeah, we're gonna use this quarter inch Dura Rock because I got the wrong shit yesterday. Uh, we're gonna use that on the floors. Had to go get the half inch for the backer right there. So that's it, man. Y'all let me know what you think. Class A over here doing Class A work. Very proud of the way that today went. Happy to know that there was no bitching. There was no arguing. Um, everybody got along today and everybody worked incredibly hard, including myself. Uh, if you wonder what I've been doing, oh Joe, all you do is take trips to Lowe's. You're right, I do. I take a lot of trips to Lowe's, but I also work my ass off over here. You couldn't imagine what I've had to go through to get this house where it is right now. Um, trust me, it has been a shit ton of work, but it's all coming together, man. And very proud to say that we're looking good on our timeline in terms of getting this thing wrapped up. So hopefully we'll make that, get the house done by next Friday. And until then, we'll just keep on grinding, Jack. That's it. I look forward to talking with you guys again tomorrow. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Like Lester Holt says, I think I'm going to take that.